I'm Dr. Aisha Raza. I'm a family doctor with a focus in women's health. And today I'm going to talk about the different methods of contraception that are currently available in Canada. When we talk about short acting reversible contraception, what we mean is that these methods can be used from month to month. There are combination methods which contain both estrogen and progesterone and progesterone only methods. Which are... The combination of the two suppresses ovulation and that's how it prevents a pregnancy. For this reason, all three of the following methods are up to 90% effective. The first is the daily oral contraceptive pill, which is the form that most people are likely aware of. It consists of taking one pill on a daily basis, ideally around the same time every day, for three weeks. During the fourth week, women have the option of either taking the placebo pill that's included in the package or counting seven days in order to have menses and finally starting the next medicated package when indicated. The second option is the birth control patch which is a patch that is worn anywhere on the body other than the breast and is changed from week to week for three weeks. During the fourth week, similarly, the patch is removed and not replaced so that women can have their menses. After seven days, a new patch is replaced. The third combined method is the vaginal ring. This consists of a flexible vaginal ring that contains the same two hormones, estrogen and progesterone, that is inserted by the user and worn for three weeks on a continuous basis. It's removed during the fourth week for women to have their menses. The pros of all of the above methods are that they suppress ovulation, they can certainly address other hormonal issues such as acne or excess hair growth. The cons are that they are not indicated for women who have a personal history of blood clots or stroke or migraines with aura or any other contraindication to medications containing estrogen. Another form of short-acting contraception for those women could be the progestin only pill, which is a mini pill that only contains the hormone progesterone. This is similarly taken once daily at the same time every day, but there is no pill-free period. Women using this method may still have their periods, but may more likely experience irregular spotting or bleeding. This The most common is primarily the barrier method by way of condoms, which is about 80% effective with typical use and is um, actually the only method amongst all of the contraceptive methods that protects against sexually transmitted infections. Secondly, there's also the calendar method or the fertility awareness method where women track their cycles so that they're aware of their fertile period and specifically the estimated date of ovulation, so they preferentially avoid having intercourse on those days. That method unfortunately sees about 24 to 25% of couples pregnant within a year, um, so it is not the most reliable form. Um, and finally, the withdrawal method, where uh, about one in five women will become pregnant in one year with uh, simply using the withdrawal method. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been an informative video. And for more information on reproductive health, please be sure to follow Women's Health Education Made Simple on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.